what is up everyone and welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my 2025 honda grom and i'm going to be giving you guys my first impressions on this bike i've had this bike for about a week and it's been really fun i previous to this i had an r6 so that's kind of my experience on bikes i do know how to ride but it's been a while so anyways back to the bike it's a really good looking bike like really good looking bike i really like the blue on this bike it's small nimble but not too small to where me who i'm um, six feet tall 215 pounds feels uncomfortable riding it i got about 25 miles on it and been enjoying every single one of those just listen to the bike it's actually a good sounding bike too even though it's a tiny engine so my first impressions of this bike is it's good it's it's pretty much everything I, I thought it would be like i'm six feet tall and let me show you guys how i look on, well on the bike It's a comfortable bike the seating position is nice and i feel honestly if you're even a, maybe a couple inches taller than me you'll like this bike especially this new seat that they put on this on the third gen of the groms because you can just sit over here if you're a taller guy and you need more leg room you just sit back here i wouldn't i don't know about carrying a passenger on this bike but maybe somebody really small you can throw back there like a kid or something there is a big issue that I found with this bike already and actually I found it pretty much right before I even left the dealer and that is the false neutral that this bike has so check it out I'm currently in neutral I'm gonna be shifting to first so we're in first I'm going to try and put it in neutral and it skips and then I'm gonna go back down skip now i'm in a false neutral if i let if i let the, if i let the clutch go i'm gonna stall so i have to put it back in first now i'm in neutral i'm pretty much not in neutral until that light isn't on so yeah this bike does have that issue i read about it before i got the bike before i even drove the bike on the dealership parking lot i was having this issue so yeah it's not just me also i had my friend ride this bike who had a bike before and same issue couldn't get into neutral was asking me what's wrong with it i kind of told him that it's a known thing with these bikes but yeah anyways we got the cops coming so i'll probably be leaving here shortly but look at the bike really nice bike gold forks blue blue and black it's really nice We'll wave at them right now when we come back. I mean, they never tell me anything, so. Really nice bike. Bike sounds nice. Rides nice. Uh oh. Looks like the cops are gonna go and tell the homeless guy to leave. That means I should probably be leaving too. If he's gonna kick him out, he's gonna tell me to leave too. Plan on keeping it for a little bit. Maybe a year or two, and we'll see if I get into another bike. I would like to get the Honda Hornet. They don't sell that here in the States. So, who knows? Maybe if they do release that bike, I'll get rid of this and get that. But for now, we're going to be a part of the Honda Grom crew, I guess. So, anyways, let's get on to riding this bike. Ready. We got our intro. This bike is very, very forgiving. And another thing I don't like are these mirrors. These little mirrors, I can't angle them right to where I can see over my shoulder. So I think the only solution for that is going to be getting the bike right here. I don't know if I want to tell you guys how much I pay for it. I did kind of overpay for it, but you know, I'm not saying that money's not an issue, but. I think I negotiated a fair 
price. 